Hello everyone and welcome to Pawfology. I hope you're having a good Thursday. I hope uh, you're looking forward to the weekend. Uh, today is, today was a pretty good day. It's the end of my work day. I'm on my way right now to Whole Foods. I'm currently in my parking garage and uh, I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and grab a couple things, just a, just a few items. Um, yeah, for to, for breakfast tomorrow and for, yeah, just breakfast and maybe lunch or something. So that's where I'm going right now. Emily is at Bakersfield, which is a taco place in downtown Indy. It's like on Mass Ave. Um, so she's there right now and with some friends or her coworkers or whatever. And um, that's about all. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to... Uh, check out Whole Foods. There's a couple things I really am looking forward there to get. That didn't make any sense. I'm looking forward to getting some uh, gusto or gusto uh, little snack packs. I just want one or maybe two of them. And uh, that's it. You know, today I read in the news that Indianapolis has this uh, catalytic converter problem where they're getting stolen everywhere and maybe it's happening in your area too but it's picked up like a lot so i think in uh 2019 it was reported that maybe like 60 were stolen uh in downtown indy in 2020 it was reported like 200 were stolen and i don't remember the the number for 2021 so far but I think it's I think it's like pretty high. I know I've told you all that information, but I don't remember I don't remember the stats of it. Anyways, um, twelve hundred uh, have been sp stolen per month since uh, twenty twenty one has started. So it's up quite a bit. That's a lot. It's up significantly. Like it, it's a major problem in downtown Indy. And I was reading it's because um, the platinum. The rhodium and the palladium uh, metals in it go for a lot right now. Like they're really high priced. And the, I guess the easiest place to get them is in catalytic converters. So the catalytic converters sell for about on, I guess, like somehow wherever you sell them, they're selling for about three to $400 each apparently, which is not really that much money. But if you hit, if they hit like five cars a night, they can make you know, 1500 bucks and they can, there's professional teams that have been coming to the city, just, uh, stealing them. And so if your car is parked outside at night, uh, they're warning people like this might happen and all of this stuff. And, um, they were advertising this company that, uh, this, I guess, mechanic place that you can, I, I assume it's like some sort of protection for your catalytic converter, but you got to pay $600. So, but yeah, so you gotta, you can put this special cage thing on there that allows, that makes it harder for them to steal or something. I don't understand how that would prevent them from stealing it, but they've been advertising that, at least in the article they were advertising it. And um, I just thought that was so interesting. I, you know, I, which I've heard that before of that type of stuff being stolen, but I guess it's just picking up a lot. It's picking up a lot downtown and they're like warning people about it. And yeah, that would suck if that happened. I guess it costs like a minimum of $1,200 to get a new one. That's a minimum on some older cars. I'm sure a new car would just be so expensive. So, okay, well, I'm going to Whole Foods. I might get some iced coffee there. I'm gonna check out what they have. I love just walking around grocery stores. I love just seeing what's new, what's there. Um, gets me out of the house. It's pretty warm in downtown Indy. It's supposed to be like 80 this weekend. And it's it's warmed up quite a bit uh, today. So it's I think it's in the 70s or if not, if not higher. I have no idea what temperature it is. But it is sunny and it looks very beautiful out today. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to Whole Foods. I'll see you in just a bit. Look at all this lettuce. This is a lettuce tower. I just thought it was, I thought it was interesting. And here's a bunch of avocados. I feel like that's a lot of avocados, right? Maybe that's the average amount of avocados. I, I don't remember. Here's my favorite flour tortillas, Maria and Ricardo's. I think, I think they're really good. 
And here's La Colombe's seasonal lemon cold brew coffee. I haven't had it before, but maybe I'll give it a try. Here is a Gusto snack pack. It's, uh, it's really good. You know, I've only had it once, but it was great. This is RP angel hair pasta. Very good, I really like it. And here is the wall of pasta sauces at Whole Foods. They have a great variety of different brands that you can't really find at you know, Kroger or Walmart or Meyer. So I like, I like checking out what they got. So I'm back from Whole Foods and I got a couple things and two of, well, more than a couple, but I got two things I'm really excited about. And the first one is this Mezzita whole garlic and sweet basil uh, tomato sauce. Uh, spaghetti sauce, whatever. It's really good. I like it a lot. And there's chunks of garlic in it, but I don't think they're going to be selling it at Whole Foods anymore. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm not really a, a, a pasta person. I mean, yeah, I'm not a huge pasta person and I, I don't really like tomato sauce, but I like that one. I think it's really good. Um, it's kind of a shame it's not going to be sold anymore. And uh, they just said it was like last chance to get it or whatever. And then my other thing I'm excited about, I got a uh, a Gusto. Uh, I don't know what how what meat this is, Cal Breeze snack pack. I really like this brand and I never really buy this, but um, I bought it one time and it was super good. So I've been looking forward to it for a while. So I got one of those and um, I think it's going to be awesome. So now, oh, I also got some stuff to juice. So I'm going to go up and uh, eat that little snack pack and um, juice some juice stuff. I got kale, carrots, apples, and that's all. So I thought about getting a red chard. Is that what it's called? Anyway, it was like some leafy thing with a red stem in the middle. I know I've juiced that before and it's really good and it's colorful. So, but I just got kale, carrots, and apples, and I'll just juice some of that tonight. Maybe, um, maybe I'll wait until Emily gets home so she can have some juice, but I'm going to do that later tonight, and that's all. Last night, I, uh, me and my friend Chris um, played some video games together. It was really fun. We played Fortnite, and yeah, I play Fortnite. I, li I like Fortnite. I mean, it's, it's fun, you know? It's a... Uh, it's definitely a dying game, kind of, but uh, it will probably become more popular again someday. Well, it's just not in the media as much. So, but I did see, not that anyone cares about this, but I did see that uh, Epic's game, Epic Games, the people that own Fortnite, they bought like a ton of, uh, they bought a ton of different games for their platform and their user base. So I don't really know, fully understand what that means and what they can do with that, but uh, I know they're trying to compete with Steam and some other companies. I don't think they'll ever really be able to compete with Steam, but, you know, some other EA sports and stuff like that, they're trying to make it more like a all-in-one place to go to get your games. So pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, that's all. That's That's it. And now I'm gonna go upstairs. Hello everyone, so it's the end of my night and I made some green juice. This is a uh, kale, apple, carrots, and that's all. But I also put some frozen strawberries in it and blueberries to make it cold. And it's really good. You know, I would put ice in it, but I saw the fruit in there, so I was just like, well, I think this will taste pretty good too. And it really does. I think the the blueberries and the strawberries make it kind of sweet because the apple I got wasn't that sweet. And the kale was the kale was super strong because I, I got some new kale at Whole Foods tonight and it was pungent. It was just really strong tasting, but I think the some of the fruit I put in there really helped it. And um, yeah, so I like it and it's super green. So that's always fun. Um, also, I have this Topo Chico with a twist of lime and I've been drinking it. It's really good. Thanks for the recommendation, Olivia. Uh, 
I've never had this before and I really like it. It's uh, the lime flavor is really good in it and it just is a really quality, quality drink. So I've been drinking that as well. So I got this and I got this. So that's what I'm drinking tonight. And uh, that's about all. Emily is not home yet. She's catching up with some of her friends, uh, but she might be home later and I don't know when, but probably like within like 30 or 40 minutes. And um, what else is happening? That's about all. I've just been chilling, having a relaxing night. Um, it's been a pretty good day. It's been a pretty good day. This weekend, I'm looking forward to just relaxing uh, and I like I do every weekend. So, well, not every weekend. Some weekends I had I had to do class, which I think that will probably be the same situation when I do start class again. I'll have to wake up early and meet with my group. Um, but for now, I'm just trying to enjoy it, and you know, until my until I start class up again. Um, is there anything else? Well, if you're still watching this, comment down below. What is something? Oh, I didn't, I don't know if I mentioned this. I didn't put ginger in this. I want to, I wanted to put ginger in it. Um, comment down below, twist. From Topo Chico, a twist of lime. You know, I really haven't had that much Topo Chico. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But I do see it served at a lot of uh, coffee shops. And I think... I, I think they serve it with espresso. And I think Calvin Fletcher's does that too. Like they, they have this drink that is some sort of sparkling water, which I assume it's Topo Chico because that's what they sell there. I think they sell that there. So yeah. Yeah, I've never had, I actually never really had espresso and sparkling water, but I bet it would be pretty good. I like plain espresso, but I don't ever get it that, that often. You know, I, I like, I do like it, but it's one of those things. I really like espresso with ice cream on it. So good. I don't know what it's called. I'm sure I know there's some like fancy word for it, but uh, I like that a lot. So as well. So that's all. Well, I'm going to go. I hope you're all having a good Thursday. Um, I don't think Emily, Emily's texting me. She's not, she's probably not going to be in this video. Well, she'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday tomorrow because I probably won't upload until pretty late just because, I don't know, that's just how it's been the past week. And I hope you have a good weekend and I'll see you uh, tomorrow. So if no one's told you this today, you are loved and this world's a better place because you are here. Have a great night. Bye.